I'm Katie McLaren, I'm 18. I'm Jack Cummings and I'm 24. And we're both from Hartlepool. I do English language, media and drama at the moment. I'm home to go to university. At the moment I work in a shop. I've worked there for six years. I knew I was a lesbian in about year 11, but it was quite like in denial and I only started telling people in college. I came out two years ago as being transgender and I went to see a doctor and now I'm on hormones. I was born a girl, but I'm becoming a, a man, a boy. When I came out, I was surprised at like the positive reactions I got, and it was like a sense of freedom that you've been keeping it like inside for all these years. Celebrities don't come out and go, by the way, I'm transgender, not like the lesbians and gays of the community. It took longer than it should have done for me to realise that I was transgender and that I needed to change my lifestyle to be happy on the inside and the out. I think it is difficult to come out in a, sh a small town like this because you don't know what people are going to react to. I mean, I've had people throw food at me on nights out just because people don't understand. Our ITV Fixers project is basically looking at gender and sexuality issues using a short film, putting it in schools maybe, like secondary schools. It's difficult to pinpoint an actual chronological age that would be appropriate. I mean, certainly working in a college, we feel at that age, the students are mature enough and sensible enough to be able to deal with an issue like that. Obviously, if you're talking about younger students who may be 12, 13 year old, you know, maybe, maybe that could be too soon. So I think it's just finding the balance. Are there any people in your school or college who are gay or transgender? Or... I do have a couple of people within my friend group that are openly gay, yes. Do you think they're accepted? Because we were a strong friendship group at the time, and we still are, so it's easy for them to know that we're there for them. My name is Paul, and I'm a producer with ITV Fixers. We're getting a few people who are going to audition. It's set in the future, this sort of dystopia, where LGBT people are being phased out of the world, so scientists are creating perfect people that fit a particular mould. Can you hear me, specimen 127? Some of them play the scientists, some of them play the rejects. Just really getting a balance of character and how we can portray the different characters. She's not a machine, she's a person. Being LGBT in Hartlepool today um, is certainly easier. But still, I just find, you know, there's, there's nowhere for LGBT people to be themselves. I'm feeling really confident about the whole thing. Looking at the people who want to be in the project and looking at, like, the ideas that we've had. I just think it's going to be a really powerful film. Being transgender is not a choice. It's, it's who you are. And without going through what I am at the moment, I don't think I'd be alive because there's, to live a life that's wrong is not worth living. I'd like understanding to come out of the film that created, really. I just want more people to understand that everyone should be accepted because at the end of the day, that's what we need to get rid of the prejudice and to get rid of the bullying.